I just realized that I don't have my memory card in my camera, which sucks. <laughs> so I'm just gonna record it from my phone. I don't know, I might stop and get a memory card, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is Things to Do in LA Part 1. We are going to Yaroshimi, Yaroshimu, don't quote me. But it's a really nice um, over the hill, overlooking the city restaurant, right? And usually, you know, people go there at nighttime or for sunset to see the skyline. But now, since COVID has started, my favorite brunch spot, the Griddle Cafe, excuse my gum, guys. My favorite brunch spot, the Griddle Cafe, oh, a stalker is coming up on me. <laughs> Seven's dad is like in the carpool lane teasing me because him and Seven can go in the carpool lane and I can't. But anyways, so y'all shoot me is a nice spot, right? But I just recently discovered that my favorite brunch spot, the Griddle Cafe, does brunch there they have a like kind of like a residency there and it's from wednesday to sunday um so yeah me and seb had went there on monday to try to have brunch but it was closed and i called and there was a voicemail saying that they have brunch there so i'm really excited because i've been to yarashumi before with um seven's dad and it was magical like it was a surprise day he told me to dress up and it was really really nice right and it was at nighttime you could see the skyline so I would imagine that it's just as gorgeous during the daytime. So we are on our way there now. We're in separate cars because we're just meeting up for brunch. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys when we get there. And if you wanna see how amazing this brunch spot is, then keep watching. So the location in itself is such a hidden gem. It's really ducked off and you would not find this tourist in Los Angeles. So you have to take a back way street and it goes up a roundabout to the top of the hill. There's also like um, a Hollywood Hills vintage hotel nearby. I know there's a castle um, dining experience nearby. So yeah, very, very discreet. And I feel like it's just, it just adds to like the upper echelon feel of dining here, right? So when we pulled in, there's valet. You just follow the markers, it's very simple valet people were really nice and surprisingly it was not packed when you come to this restaurant at night it is jam packed so after going inside and having our temperature taken we are going back outside to be seated right there It smells so good. You ready now? Yeah, you ready to eat? Okay, let's see how it tastes. I'm trying to wait for syrup and my mimosa. Nugget approved to check out the grounds of the restaurant and guys it is breathtaking so many great spots to take photos and just chill like you would love this spot it's the two for one with scenery and brunch Yarashumi, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I left all the details in the description box below to where you can find this dining experience. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, Seven loved it and it was it was a really great experience. So I will see you guys again. Thanks for watching. Bye.